I know Mr. Rodney Jones, his lawsuit has some really disturbing um, points in it. Do you think some of these things are exaggerations? I think that uh, the lawyer would have to really prove mm -hmm. a lot of stuff that's in that lawsuit that he compiled together. I don't believe everything in it. Mm, neither do I. But uh, at this stage, like I said before, the enemy of my enemy, I consider my friend. Mm -hmm. I don't care. Mm -hmm. I, I have, like, like, people don't understand. People got a false ideology, a false sense of Puff and I relationship. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You know, I left and said, yo, I ain't fucking with bad boy no more. Not once. Twice. Twice, right. You understand? Um, after the city college, mm -hmm. after big. You understand? And then when we had that incident in the office with his mother, I just said, yo, man, fuck it. I ain't doing this shit no more. I didn't have to. Mm -hmm. You understand? People don't understand. I, was, I wasn't I was like a, a, a weekly worker or stuff like that. I was a contract worker. Mm -hmm. When he, he had a problem, business. I had my own stuff. Mm -hmm. When he had a problem, he had situations, yo, call Gene. Mm -hmm. Call Gene. Because mm -hmm. everybody knew not only was I slick in the family, I was with black hands. Black hand. We gonna get to that. You understand? Mm -hmm. I was with black hands. Mm -hmm. You understand? So at that time, you know, I'm the go-to man. I don't care what nobody say. Mm -hmm. Nobody was messing with Gene or anybody that was Gene that was dealing with. Mm -hmm. And Puff and them knew that. Mm -hmm. You understand? So when Puff had to go somewhere or Puff had a problem, I would get a call out my bed sometimes. Yo, Gene, we down here. Puff want to know, can you come down here? Mm. You understand? Mm -hmm. Yo, Gene, Puff out of town. Can you go to Atlanta this weekend? Can you go to Miami? Can you go to Cali? You understand? Mm -hmm. I look at it as babysitting money. Ain't mm -hmm. no problem. I'll do it. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? You know, we had that type of relationship. Mm -hmm. You understand? So people can say whatever they want to say. You understand? So my whole thing about it is, is that our relationship, even when I left him, I'm, I'm running the Kingdom basketball tournament on 115. And what I mean running, I did the whole security. Mm. That's when Freddie Myers came home. You understand? Freddie Myers, one of the biggest gangsters, New York Freddie, mm -hmm. that was in Harlem. Legendary. Legendary. Um, send a wad of money over here like this to me. Mm. Yo, get us to the security. Y'all break this down with the security. That's what the dude told me. I said, man, take that shit back to him. I don't want his money. Mm -hmm. If he want to give it to security, tell him to go around and get all the security guys' mm -hmm. money. Mm -hmm. Fuck I am. I don't work for you. Mm -hmm. Always been like that. Mm -hmm. You can ask Jewel Rutledge from Felon Magazine, mm -hmm. the All-Stars. Yo, sent five bottles. We in Sin City. He sent five big-ass bottles to those quarter bottles of champagne mm -hmm. over to my table. Mm -hmm. Just after I left, over to my table. I said, man, I said, who that for, Jew? Damn, Jew, I ain't do that. Oh, yo, uh, Puff sent this over there to y'all. I said, I don't want that shit. Take that shit back. Jew said, fuck that. We drinking this shit. I'll drink it. I said, I, said, I ain't drinking shit. And I moved over to another mm -hmm. table. Mm -hmm. You understand? Because it's you, about the principle. It's about the principle of the thing. Mm -hmm. It's always been like that. Puff knew what type of dude I was. Mm -hmm. Puff knew that I would lay down my life for me, for, for him. Mm -hmm. You understand? Puff know I saved his life on a couple of occasions. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? He know I didn't care nothing but about his safety. Mm -hmm. You understand? He broke that when he lied, mm -hmm. when he disrespected other people's mamas. Mm -hmm. When he didn't do right by people we all love together. Right. You understand what I'm saying? You broke that, bro. So people thinking that, yo, this nigga fight. Nigga, I worked for New York State Parole for 27 years. Absolutely. You understand? I read elite investigations 
at those places. Mm -hmm. You understand? And I know you talk to me. I remember Gene, Big Gene, you talk to people with Lambert House. You probably see me yourself. Mm -hmm. You just didn't know because I was skinny. <laughs> I was, I was <laughs> <laughs> and I was a teenager. So my yeah. attention span was. <laughs> yeah. So, but you understand what I'm saying? Right. So my whole thing about it is this. Is that I always knew how to get money. Right. Yo, guys would call me in front. They in the club. Mm. Yo, Gene. Yo, can you make it up to such and such right here? Mm -hmm. I'ma stay here till you get here. Mm -hmm. Go up in the club. I'm coming out with my hammer in my hand. Mm-hmm. Nene. <laughs> <laughs> I got my hammer in my hand. Mm -hmm. Walking them to their car. Mm-hmm. You understand? Walking them to their car. $1,500 easy. Just for protection, escort to a vehicle. To a vehicle. Making sure he get on the highway. Making sure he going right there. I just stood in front of Sue's rendezvous. Dudes had stopped, jumped out their car. Damn. Thank you. Appreciate it. Mm-hmm. People don't understand that I, I didn't have those issues. I didn't have those problems. I never needed bad boy for nothing. I stopped in 2004. Mm. Make what you think. Look, I got fatter. Because <laughs> you're you retired. You're on yeah. vacation <laughs> now. But, but, but I'm just saying, I got, I got, I got bigger. Mm. I ain't miss no meals. Mm -hmm. I didn't miss not a meal. This is about principles. This is yes. what our young kids don't understand. It ain't about the money. It's about integrity. They don't understand that part. That's, that, that's the part I think is the biggest misconception about your relationship with Puff. They don't understand. He wasn't Diddy. Right. He was not. Diddy was later. Right. And he had just turned to Diddy. He had just turned to Diddy. And if they know the history of kids don't play these games anymore, right. but you broke it down very good. Who Diddy was in the Donkey Kong game? He was Donkey Kong little nephew. Yes. Pain in the ass. The, yeah. Causing mischief. Right. And when Big gave Puff that name. Right. It wasn't because this was his best friend. Right. You caught it. Right. What it meant. I, right, right when he right said away. it. Right away. Because I've been to the end of the Donkey Kong game. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and if you haven't, you don't really know right. that this wasn't a name that was given like, you know, this is my partner, this is my homie, you know. Big was on his way out the door. Exactly. You know, he had, despite all the barriers that was in front of him, been given an opportunity to do his own thing. And Puff tried to make it seem like that it was, oh, I let him go do his own label and everything like that. That's bullshit. That's bullshit.